Hello everyone! I'm here today with a new process video. I'm still working through Vegas. I have so many photos. This is only a single pager though. And as you can see, I have everything here except one pocket ready to go. I knew I wanted to use this card. I had it from some kind of a digital file set I had that was all about breakfast and morning stuff. I knew the colors would work, so I have that ready. But I need something for here. And then I have no idea what kind of embellishments I'm going to do, stamping, ephemera, I have none of that. I do have lots of food stamps that I could use. I also have a whole bin of embellishments that are related to food and eating. So actually, I think I'm going to pull those out first because I put a few things in my Vegas bin that related to food, but not a whole lot. So I think I'll pull that out first and just go through some of that stuff. Okay, I have my bag of fun food stuff here. So as you can see, I have some wood veneer, and I know I have breakfast type stuff in here. It's all coffee and waffles and croissants and stuff like that. And then I have some acrylic pieces, <clears throat> excuse me, some chipboard things. I have lots of chipboard here from Allie Edwards. She did a, a food release a while ago, and I bought two complete sets of stuff because I loved it so much. And I have just some literal, little ephemera things. I have these stickers from Pip Sticks. Uh, some of these might work because I do have some eggs happening. My friend did have chicken and waffles, so there's that. I don't know if those colors will really match. Maybe. We'll see. But I have that. And then just some random stuff, too, that's more generic food-related. So in here, you would think that I would be able to find something. I pulled out a bunch of these wood veneer thinking I would use them because I knew they had a waffle here. And I think this one is supposed to be pancakes, but it could pass as waffles as well. You can stack them up like that. So I was thinking maybe I would use one of those and maybe like one of the coffees, you know, something like that. And the colors do work. But then I was looking at these stickers and I just love them. I absolutely love them. If you've never checked out Pip Sticks, you should. Like they have a monthly club or kit or something I don't do that I just go on there and order but I love their stickers it makes me feel like when I had sticker books when I was a kid and I just really love these designs I think I'm going to end up using probably this one or this one they both have colors that work there is red in here there is blue she did have blueberries on here now they're almost purple they're so dark here but people would get the hint you know if I use this they would know what that means so I think I'll use one of those probably on this card right here but I think before I totally commit to it I need to find my other card because maybe I'm gonna need to fill in something there too if it has empty space I'm not sure so I better do that and then I'll come back to the stickers when I went into my general stash of cards not my travel ones this was in my regular stuff I found this one this is perfect I absolutely love that it says this morning, it says AM. It might be from this same set because look at those colors. They look like they go. And I think this was either from maybe Feed Your Craft. I don't think it's from Anna Creative Bubble. I, I can't remember. I'd have to pull up my files to look at it later. It's from one of those though, I think. But it's a digital set and I absolutely love this. I forgot I even had it printed, but it's kind of perfect. So I'm going to put it here. I love that it even says this morning because it was about 10, 1030 by this point and we hadn't had anything so we thought hey let's do brunch when we pass this place. It is called Maxi's. It doesn't look like much from the outside. You can see here it's just on the promenade. It doesn't look like anything flashy. There is a sign overhead actually. Didn't I have more photos here? I thought I had a flip that I was going to do here. I could be wrong. I thought I had more. No, I do. Okay, that's right. I set them on the side so I wouldn't lose them. I do have more. So that's what it looks like. So if you go to Vegas and you're at the Link Promenade and you're walking around looking for something, this place was excellent. It's a small little diner type place. And when we were there, because it was November of 2021, their COVID rates were fairly low, but the city was still not allowing eat in at this place. And so it was either take it to go or they had outdoor seating. 
it was still fairly early yet and there was only I think one other person at the opposite end of the outdoor seating so we chose to sit there so there are even little tables with umbrellas outside it's a very nice little venue and you will get a lot for your money so far this is what I have I added three of the stickers up top and I love that it brings in some of the blue because I have blue over here and then I did one little one right here but I think I'm going to do something in this space here and I'm considering this because again it brings in the blue I could also do the syrup I mean I didn't have it but she did with her stuff so that might work out okay but then I also have to reserve something I think because for, I think I'm gonna make this pocket the flip and I'm gonna do a side one so that it flips this way I feel like I need something there so I have to reserve for that as well. But I'm very tempted to use this one on the outside to get that color in there. And then I don't know what else I could really do. Maybe, no, the butter doesn't really go. None of these other ones really go with what I had other than the fork, which I've already used. But I don't know, we'll see. On this card, I decided to go with the maple syrup option there in the blue though because she did have syrup so I felt like that worked then on the inside here I'm not going to use any more of these I don't think instead I'm going to use this I have this little packet of these are all food single words and phrases from another digital set I have I don't remember where those are from either but they are a digital set that I bought and I have just this one that says breakfast I would have preferred if it said brunch because that was more accurate but we're eating breakfast food so it's fine but I'm thinking I might take that and just put it right here in the middle to bring in some blue I also like it because it mimics all the round shapes that I have here that appear the biscuits and the waffles and stuff so I feel like that would be good and then when you flip you just get a nice little surprise there I have attached my little circle there that says breakfast and now I'm going to put the pocket together here the flip so these are the ones from close to my heart they call them memory protectors it shows you flip flaps 12 pieces three by four half are on this end with the adhesive half are the side by side option so I'm using on the side here because I want it to open like so so then I can just load everything up This one will actually appear out here when the flip is open, which is cool. And then that one will go there. So that's what you'll see when you open it up. When I was looking at this just now, I realized I don't like these next to each other. They both say maxis. So I'm actually going to change this up. That will be at the back. This will be on the inside. So that when that flip comes open they would line up here well I can fix that later but when it opens then you'll see maxis out here and that will be in the background I do want to show one thing about this so I've attached the flip here but given that these are made by close to my heart and the page protector is from Echo Park they don't align perfectly and that's fine so what I will do is I will actually trim off the edge here. There's still more than enough adhesive to hold it down. And then I'll have to trim in a little bit because it has this indentation rather than a flat edge at the top like most page protectors do. I believe Stampin' Up! does that as well. So I will have to do a little DIY here to make this work, but it'll still be fine. Okay, I just took a pair of old gunky scissors that I've had. Don't use a good pair. And then I just cut into that line, cut off the edge, and now it's ready to go. I will have to use my crop it out to punch through the hole there now, but I do have one of those on hand, so that'll be easy. I feel like I still need something for this photo. It feels blank. I don't want to have something on every photo. I don't think these three need it. I have already put these two in, the, or I put this one in the pocket. This one I know I'm not going to do anything with. I was trying to decide about these. I found this in my chipboard. And I think I want to put that right kind of in the middle there, similar to what I did here. So I think I'm going to use that one. And I have two, so I don't need to hoard it because I have another one. I think I'm gonna go for it. So 
ta-da! Here it is all put together and I love it! This ended up matching this background super well, so I'm just, I'm really in love with it. And there's the bottom row, plus then you get the extra little bonus with the flip, which I love. So pleased with how this one turned out. And here's another one finished for Vegas. Thanks for watching.